guys 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 man i'm back again i'm back again i'm back again quick tips how to speed up your editing flow with the inbuilt proxies of premiere don't worry yourself create any proxies from anywhere now let's get into it so we have a 4k footage in here let's check it out properties properties and it's 4k footage okay that's cool man what do we do we right click go to proxies create proxies that there are two file formats 8264 and quicktime now under quicktime a whole lot of things you can use under 8264 three of them i will choose the least that's 1024 by 540 a2 is easy to work with so i don't worry myself going to create any process anyway i'll use it as it is because i don't even need it afterwards so i go okay let's go into media encoder it's working on it right now this is where you wait for your process to get done and when you get done, you're sure to speed up your edit workflow. No file contest now. Me, yeah. Go at those days when my machine will just freeze because the file is too heavy for me. Those days are over. If you use Premiere, those days are over. We got proxies everywhere. Create one and use it. Let's go. Okay, so we're done. Okay we are done with the proxies let's check this out so well, let's go to premiere pro now we need to attach the proxy to the main file attach proxies don't go create proxy because you've done already done that attach proxies just go to attach and go to search it has search for it automatically and you click ok you have a proxy file done now so now pull this uh, let's say double click and select a portion pull it back into your system keep it now go to give a control touch on the motion and you see how big it is it is a full full 4k stuff now i mean okay so Okay, so let's do to fit. Now, check this out. This is the original file. This button is the toggle proxies. If you can't find it on your program bin, just go to the plus sign, button editor, and you see it over here. You drag it down onto the timeline, and there it is. You want to be editing with the proxy so that you don't have lags in your editing. You speed up your edit flow. So there it is. You see so this is the low resolution of it and it's so smooth and easy to work with when you are done and you're about you can cut through whatever cut 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 move this to this side move this to the side and then join this to this side and overlay these on top of these and put this one like that when you are done editing it just Untoggle it, play through as a full file. Full the proxy when you toggle it is the proxy. See how I'm scrolling through it with no with no difficulty. See proxy DJ that's me. So when you want to export it, then you untoggle it to full resolution. When you export, everything is copacetic. Guys, so how easy it is to use the proxies inbuilt in Adobe Premiere CC 2018, 2019, all the CCs. All the inbuilt proxies that it provides to us are so good. You don't have to waste your time, go create a new one. But if you're a pro and you want to do your own thing, it's up to you. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Tell a friend to tell another friend to subscribe, share, like. If there's anything in editing that you want to know, you want us to learn and come and teach you, or you want us to teach you, drop the comment in the comment side below right here. Anything you want to say, if you want to give us a thumbs up, that helps the channel so much. Please do that. We love you. Keep learning with us. Keep learning with us. Keep learning with us. Awesome things coming up. We promise you. I'm out.